How's it going guys? X-Dragon here with a short tutorial on a few movement techniques that people may be asking about in the course of the runs of CrossCode, so I'm here to showcase them very briefly and give you a quick how-to. So, the most common thing that people ask about is the long jump. So, first thing I'm going to show you is that you cannot make this jump normally, but you can make it by doing a long jump. Now, the way you do this is, and this can be done on keyboard and mouse as well as controller, depending on whatever control scheme you like to use, by first making sure that you've actually jumped. Some people like to say that they always just jump and they don't go anywhere. Well, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you jump before you do anything. Good first step. The second thing is that you need to, after you've jumped, perform a melee attack. Or, in this case, you can actually do a few things. You can perform a melee attack, you could shield, or you can aim. But you need to do one of these after you've jumped. The final thing is after you've done whichever option you would like to do, then press the dash button. So, first let's do one with a melee attack. Now you see, if you get the shield there, that means you've, you've dashed too slowly. Or, in another situation, you could, instead, have attacked too early. So, like that. You may not get the dash that you want. Or you might just not get anything at all. You'll usually get a shield. However, if you do it correctly, I'm going to try and make sure I delay this as much as possible so that the input delay, so that the input display can show the timing of them. Now let's do some shields. So in this case I can either use the same dash button and double tap it, or I can use the dedicated shield button. Now for this one, you can actually hold the button as well, so it doesn't really matter. Might be a little bit easier for those who are having problems with the attack one. But yeah. And then again, aiming. So this one I'll just be flicking the right stick. You just need to start the process of aiming. You don't have to continue doing it all the way. I mean, you could if you want, but you just need the slight timing of uh, the startup of aiming. Now then keyboard, it's the same thing. So I have dash on both the right mouse button as long as you're moving, because if you're not, you get a shield, or the spacebar. So let's do it with melee. So on keyboard and mouse, you have either V key, or if you click within this little circle around you that appears, you will also do a melee attack. I find it much easier to use the V key though, so I'm going to use that. And in this situation, I'll also use the right mouse button because I find that much easier as well. Just to do one dash, that is. Now then, for guarding, it will be the same thing. It's just a little bit awkward with the C key coming back, but it should also be, you know, C and then right mouse button, at least for me, if you're feel more comfortable with another one, that's up to you. It's just a little awkward there. The hands getting crunched together. But you get the premise. And I'm not sure if aiming will work, but let's try it. This one might be a little bit more awkward. Because you always throw the VRP. So maybe this one won't work on mouse and keyboard. I'm not sure if there's a button to just set aim. It doesn't seem like it. Yeah. So this one might not work on the mouse and keyboard, so you're just limited to the melee and shield options. So again, this area cannot be crossed normally, but can be crossed with a single dash long jump 
And the same could be done here, but this requires two dashes instead. So, same, same actions, just have to dash twice. The timing for this is a little bit tighter, so if you don't get this right away, then don't be discouraged. It takes a little bit of time to actually get this. But basically, you should be able to cross either pathway by doing the same options. So, for in this case, the top will be two dashes for both jumps, and the bottom will be one. Now that's done. Let's go over the uh, infinite dashing that people seem to uh, just see in the videos. Well, you'll see it a lot, actually. And if you do three dashes, you'll see that if you try to dash more, you enter this sort of spin-out state that's absolutely useless. Well, the only way to prevent this is by either putting some space between your three dashes, or by using the shield. So. If you were to just dash three times and spin out, it's like, okay, well, you just stop and do another three dashes and then stop and do another three dashes. Well, if you just hold up your shield, you can actually dash pretty much infinitely as long as the animation for the shield begins. So you can see my shield is trying to pop up over and over again, but I can continue dashing. Now, if I drop the shield, you'll see that I can't just dash like this forever. I do actually have to put a bit of a gap in between. But if I just have the shield out, then it's all fine. And this should be uh, doable as well on the mouse and keyboard as well. It's a bit more awkward, but it does work. But yeah, as long as the shield begins to come out, then you should be able to continue dashing. It basically resets your dash counter back to zero. So you can just continue to dash to your heart's content. Alright, now that I've covered that, you're a little bit more well equipped to understand how Crossco works and its movement and how we get around the areas. Thank you for watching, and hope to see you next time.